Now, before you all go dashing off to back at Seti, just hang on a minute, because I was told there was something that was 12 inches and would be interesting to film. Er, uh, no, that's not right, is it? Ah, that's it. There's something interesting afoot at the Mechanics Institute today. Hmm, I think I may have already given the game away with a dramatic opening title. During its 150 years of being a centre for Reckles Alonians, the Mechanics Institute has been and seen many things, including that of a much loved and well attended picture house from between 1911 and 1931. Now that I've set the scene and everything set up and a fish butty lunch has settled, let's hear from the prospective project's organisers. Hello, my name is Michael Kenefick. And I'm from Ecclesall Community Association Limited. I'm the centre manager here. Uh, we're based in Ecclesall in Bradford, uh, BD2. Um, I'm here to tell you about the project that we're trying to promote um, at the centre and it's bringing it back to its roots. Ecclesall, uh, well, the Mechanics Institute, which is the building's name, was originally uh, founded by mill workers and back in 1911 it was a cinema. Um, Basically what we're trying to do is set up a project which we are looking for funding from, from the lottery, hopefully, uh, to set up this cinema uh, to rekindle its roots again. Um, I work for Adult Services and uh, I'm a project worker uh, developing wellbeing cafes and then monitoring and overseeing what happens. Uh, wellbeing cafes are a preventative service within Adult Services for older people older people that are very, very vulnerable, isolated, uh, becoming quite forgetful. People with dementia and their spouses and carers to come along to. Uh, the cafes, we have 25 of them across Bradford and Airedale, and they run monthly. They run for two hours and uh, they provide support for people with dementia, for older, most vulnerable people. In that um, we have entertainment there, but we also provide an awful lot of support ongoingly with any issues that might uh, be appropriate to them at, the, at that moment in time. I was approached by Anita Bolland um, to actually raise awareness of this project uh, across the actual cafes. I'm a community development worker with Ravenscliff Community Development Project, which is just a mile down the road from here. I've been working with the Ekimeki Centre for some years now, helping Nick on various projects, and our current project is to bring back the Picture House to Eccles Hill. So I'm working with them on a lottery bid to get some money to buy some screening and to buy the licences because the, the film's not very expensive but to put the licence on each month is quite pricey. If it works and it's successful people will sustain it by coming every month and paying for it. So the best thing about it is, uh, I mean the building's a bit shabby, but uh, the building is loved by hundreds of people in the area and we've got an awful lot of older people in the area. And a lot of older people don't like to go out to the modern picture houses, you know, the cinema blocks. They're a bit intimidating. And it's not somewhere you'd want to go on your own, necessarily. So in a community setting like this, we think we're more engaging and more comfortable. Okay. Don't go all to yourself. I'll have one place. Thank you very much. So that's the best thing. You can't have noisy things at the pictures, can you? As folk arrive and get themselves settled, David Wilson from the Bradford Film Museum opens the first ever event since 1931. That came from Bradford, which is partly why we're a Bradford city of film. We've got this UNESCO title that makes Bradford really special because of what we're doing with film. And it's, it's activities like this that make it so important. Without further ado, um, do enjoy the film. Great, here we go. Well, I'm sorry I can't show you the movie, but in no time at all, we're at the interval. Now, I couldn't decide whether to have a steaming hot dog with glazed onions, popcorn, french fries, or an ice cream cone. So I had the lot. And of course, this is the time to have a chat and get some very important feedback. It's actually a very good film choice, isn't it? So what do you think of it so far? I've really enjoyed it. I've never seen this film before. Mm. It's a good cast and I think it's quite funny. So what about the venue itself? 
Well, I used to come here years ago to a running club and we used to use this room. Mm. I think the venue was so really good for people who live locally. We live down King's Road. All right. So we decided to come here. And I just think it's a good way of getting people together. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I think as well, when you're older, you have to pack as much in as you can because you don't know when you're going to be here for it, do you? Yeah. So why be on board when you come somewhere like this? So you'd like to see it as a regular venue then? Yes, I would. I think it'd be very good, yeah. And right. I think a lot of people would be, maybe don't know about it. I think a lot of other people would like it. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, thank Thanks. you. <laughs> now, I like to see local councillors who have a good sense of cinematic drama and who attend and fully support these community events and initiatives. My name is Jeff Reid, I'm an Eccles Hill councillor and I'm also the chair of Eccles Hill Community Association which is based in Eccles Hill Mechanics Institute, Eki Meki. I'm very pleased to support this project involving film because this building has served many uses over the years and it was a cinema at one time and this is one way and another we're sort of going back to our roots and reinterpreting them for our own day. So the films will be in colour, people will talk, and uh, you know, we hope we can recapture, nevertheless, some of the atmosphere uh, of actually coming together to watch a film in your local community. Now for the record, I'm not a part of this project. I just came along to film it. However, audiences do have perceptions when it comes to raffles. So if I can ask somebody from the audience, would you like to... So the winning number is number 34. <laughs> 34? I think it's me actually, so... Oh. I will forfeit that one. Would you like to pick a ticket? Right, this is me. Number 17. Hey. Oh, no, I'll put it in. Would you like to pick the next? And it's number two. Oh, no, that's me. No, uh, no I'll forfeit that. You'll forfeit? Yeah. So, the first ticket drawn out is Mike's, the manager's. And the third ticket drawn is mine. Now, did you notice my pause as I'm feeling the steely gazes of the audience upon me? Do you know how long I have waited to win a much coveted Bradford Film Museum mug and a box of Tetley tea bags? You have no idea. As we leave the audience to enjoy the final half of the movie, why don't we take a brief look at some of the history of the Mechanics Institute as a picture palace cinema. Before Ecclesville became part of Bradford in 1899, the Mechanics would have been the most important building in the village, a kind of town hall. This is where meetings of all kinds took place, not to mention concerts and social events. Many famous people appeared there, and it would have been a bit of a come down when it became a picture house, or picture palace as it was then called. The cinema opened on the 2nd of October 1911 by Charles Bottomley and it had a capacity of 359 seats. This was the days before talkies, so all the films were silent and the screen was nothing more than a white sheet that waved about every time the door opened and the old films would flicker a lot as they were wound by hand. There was usually a complete change of programme midweek, and serials kept the people on the edge of their seats. They ran and ran and ran. Now there is a story of a young boy's auntie who went faithfully week after week to see Riders of the Purple Sage starring Pearl White, but she missed the final episode. Then there was a clutching hand, also a Pearl White film, and that ran for 39 episodes. 
Saturday matinees, the penny rush pulled in the crowds. The cinema's manager would hand out red tokens or passes to the local shopkeepers and traders, who in turn would then pass them on to their customers. Now those who produced a red pass at the cinema door only paid a penny for a threepenny seat. Timing was crucial on a Saturday evening. All the films had to be rewound and packaged up correctly. Then it was a mad dash to get them onto the last tram down to Foster Square in Bradford where they would be collected and then redistributed on the cinema circuit. Missed the tram and it was going to be a long walk for someone before church or chapel the next day. The construction of the Regal Cinema on Norman Lane in 1929 introduced plush seating, palatial surroundings and a whole new perspective towards a visit to the cinema. Ecclesill's old picture palace soon fell out of favour with the locals and it closed in 1931 after 20 years in business. Now I've pulled just snippets of information from some of the publications produced by Ecclesill's Historical Society which is itself based in the Mechanics Institute. They're excellent little books, full of local knowledge, stories, tales and information, more often than not, guaranteed to get you thinking, chuckling and seeing Ecclesill in a different light. Well worth a purchase. Ah, I see the movie's about to finish. Right, you two, how do you think it went this afternoon then? Fabulous, I'm over the moon. Thrilled to death, amazed, gobsmacked, loved it. What else do you want to know? What did you think of the movie though? Oh, I didn't get time to watch the movie, I'm busy peeling onions. No, the, uh, I mean, I've seen the movie before and I concur with David, it's one of the most popular requested films. What I enjoyed was watching people watch the movie and I could see them being drawn into it, eyes filling up, laughing, chatting, and that's what it's all about, just getting people engaged and involved. So I was watching the people watching the movie and I know it's been a success and I know people have come out and said how much they've enjoyed it. I was, no. looking, at, I was looking at the reactions of the people uh, watching the movie itself yeah. uh, throughout the, the day because I was sat in front of them. Yeah. And to see the smiles on the faces, unbelievable, and it's great to see. And, and what about the mix of the audience? Fantastic. Great. There's people that I've never seen in Ecclesville before, um, and they've never been into the centre. And it was great to see new faces, as well as the regulars. Well, I've got to say, I really enjoyed it. And for my money, I'd like to see it as a regular. I think we all do, yeah. Well, we'll right. keep you informed. If we get the money, we'll let you know. It'll be a Jolly good. Thing. Cheers. Thanks ever so Thank much you. for coming along.